up? It's Warchief, and I just want to thank all of you that watched the last video series, Making a Beat with Warchief, and uh, I really enjoyed making it, and it was awesome. But anyways, okay, I had a great idea. I'm going to have another series, and we are going to go in-depth in this app called iMachine on the uh, iOS devices, the iPad and the iPhones. So anyways, uh, this video is going to be just the overview. We're looking at the phone version and the iPad version just to see what it has to offer. And then we are going to go from there. So uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Alright, here we go. Here's the iPad version. And here is the iPhone version of iMachine. And we are just going to take a little overview look of uh each app um see the difference right away you can see the difference on the phone you get nothing but the pads and on the uh ipad you get the pads and the uh, pattern view options right here so we're going to start from the top to the bottom you can see right here this uh tab right here takes you to new open save export audio export to machine for machine that is an awesome feature New features help, expansion, store, and about. And if you click over here to this, you get the same thing. And it uh, actually displays what you would normally see if you went to the phone version. New features, it already explains it over here. So the big um, step up from the iPhone, you uh, have more screen to work with. So things are easier to uh, see and maneuver. So let's back out of here and uh go to our bpm pretty easy to see you tap bpm right here it uh, drops it down into a little tab on the ipad and the metronomes right there you tap that on and off uh you gotta turn on the metronome and the uh, bpm little window right here on the phone that's the only difference there and then you got play and record play record and then this feature right here is your uh mixer view so your mixer view on the iPad is actually below right here and you can tell that there's uh, where the effects are. You have to go to the effects individually on the iPhone version. That's step down from the iPad version. So it, the iPad version is going to be superior no matter what. So just uh, think about that. And But the iPhone version is the exact same thing there's just more screens you have to go through to get to the next step that's the only difference but anyways let's go back to the pads and then look at these other options this uh right here is the uh like live play feature um the live play feature on this is right here the second one the first one on the iphone right here is your note repeat but on the iPad, the note repeat is in displayed in the live play. That's the only difference there. Okay. Um, see the live play. Um, this button right here will give you the pattern options or whatever you'd like to call them. The little pencil gives you the same uh, view, but you get to see the pads also. That's a good thing. So it's same on both screens, uh, no pattern and scene, pattern length, clear, step mode, erase, mute, same exact thing, apps are great. Um, this little bar up here is your pattern length, so like if you choose a length, like two bars for the this first drum kit, you can see that it's two bars up there. So that's pretty cool, I really like that feature. Um, it helps you out a lot in knowing where you are at in the uh, arrangement, I would guess you would call it. But it's pretty, pretty detailed. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. This is the sample. So you go to the sample on the iPad. You get to, uh, you can record samples in. So you uh, have your threshold right here and then you can like, press record and then do snaps and it will record it in and then you can have stuff like that in your drum kit it's pretty cool um, you can do it for the iPad and iPhone version this uh, like I said these are exact same apps 
but I feel like you have more, you don't have to maneuver through so many screens on the iPad version as the iPhone version. So that's the only difference. So the next one is samples. So this is how you uh, pick your drum kits or your samples. And then you have the native instruments, uh, your own. Um, and then you can import music from your library, your iTunes library. And then this last one is uh, audio paste. Never really used it, don't really get into it. Um, and then if you go over to your native instrument samples, you'll have kits like drum kits already made like and then you can just press on it and then that kit will load up and you're there and it's there to just help you play so uh, those are the pretty much the basic tabs on the bottom and on the side right here and I showed you the uh, effects tab on the iPad right there so these tabs right here you get four tracks to mess with okay right now there's one two B tracks opened right here and then two piano tracks opened up right here same as the phone okay if you want to change this you can just hold it and then press keys and then it, you can change it to a piano or a recorder like to sing something or say something to put that in the beat you're going to be making on your mobile device pretty much so we'll hold that again go back to pads you can also change the color Turn it to blue. It's pretty, pretty cool. You do the same thing on the phone. Keys. You can save kit. You can do the recorder, and then you can change the color, change the blue. Go back to pads. It is pretty awesome. So yeah, we are going to get pretty in depth in this app. I really think this app is really good. I don't think it gets much appreciation because it is a good app and that's what we're going to do these next couple weeks so yeah thanks for watching the video if you liked the video you leave a like if you <laughs> didn't like the video leave this like and comment down below telling me what you think about this app have you been using iMachine uh do you use iMachine um i know it's only on ios and i know everybody doesn't like ios but it's it's a really good app, and uh, I just want to go over it these couple weeks because I feel like it just doesn't get enough recognition. And that's what we're going to be doing on this channel over the next couple uh, weeks. We're going to be going over the iMachine. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you think, and I will get back to you guys. Leave a bunch of comments down below. Tell me what you thought, and have an amazing week. See ya.